In the Dream Motel, modest and unassuming in appearance, many people pass by and never give it a second thought. But for some, the Dream Motel is a refuge from the storm, a safe haven in times of trouble, a special place where sometimes heaven reaches out just to touch the earth. For many years, the Dream Motel has offered faith to the faithless, hope to all those who have but given up on life, and love to those who thought themselves unworthy. How can I help you? So even though she came here prepared to take her own life, after she left, she became a doctor and now she's saving lives in Africa. That's amazing. I still can't believe that Martin Luther King stayed here. Yeah. He was very nice, but I could tell when he showed up, he was broke. He was ready to give up. But he stayed here one night, one night, Jesse, and he walked out of here ready to take on the world. <laughs> That's amazing. You know, after hearing all of this, I can't understand why Dark wants to close this place down. He doesn't want to close it down. He wants to tear it down. Well, I think we need to make a stand to make sure Dark doesn't get his way this time. Jesse, we both know that God's will will always be accomplished, no matter what. No one, no thing can ever do anything to thwart that. But people like Dark, they believe they can stifle God's will, even though they might not understand that it's God's will that they're stifling. He may very well show up tonight and try to make good on his threats. But the key to the equation is this. As much as I love this place, it's not about this place. It's about people and their hearts. And people like Dark don't want that and they don't like that. We still can't stand by and let Dark just rip this place to the ground. If it's God's will for us to take a stand, we will. But we have to remember no matter what, whatever happens, good or bad, we have to trust that it's God's plan. You're right. I'm sorry for the way that I've been acting lightly. You don't have to apologize. When I first came here, I was a mess. I was. I was confused. I was angry. A lot like you are right now. But God changed me. He breathed new life into me. He restored me. Jesse, our meeting the other day wasn't an accident. I know. I see that now. I've known you were coming for weeks. I had a dream. God showed me that you were going to come here and help me out with things around here. And from the looks of it, not a minute too soon. <laughs> Oh, stop, stop. Don't, don't make me laugh. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? <laughs> it's pretty rough. Sheriff, what brings you in this morning? You want some of my biscuits and scrambled eggs? Uh, not this morning, I'm afraid. Look, uh, I just came by to let you know. I've been, been hearing some talk around town. Dark's planning something for this evening. We know. We were just talking about it. He came by last night and made those threats to us. 
And hey, people like Dark are all bark and no bite. How long has he been threatening this place? Yet we're still here. I hope you're right, Mateo. I don't know. This time, something feels different. Well, I promise you this. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Yeah. Okay, Mateo. Well, I'll see you all around. Thank you. It's good to see you. That was nice. Let me ask you something, Jesse. Do you think God is finished with this place? No. Not now. Not after everything I've heard and all the threats that have come against us. Good. No. Good. Because I'm going to let you in on a little secret. If Dark does show up tonight, we're supposed to take a stand. Because I know God's not through with this place either. I think this is what you've been waiting for. Now you can legally get rid of that place once and for all. I think you'll find everything's in order. Good work. I'm glad you like it. Well, we look forward to it. Thank you. Hey, Jesse. Yeah? I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, what's the good news? The good news is we've got guests coming this weekend. <laughs> so what's the bad news? We've got guests coming this weekend. <laughs> Are we going to be able to get this place ready? Yeah. Um, I got a, one more day on the restaurant, and I got two more days right here, but then, uh, yeah, we, we should be ready to go. Great. How many guests we got coming? A lot. We're going to need every room on the first floor. Is that possible? Well... Every room's done except 147. And what's up with 147? Well, you've been in there. You said it was hideous. It's hideous. So what if I give you a hand? Well, yeah, if you give me a hand, uh, yeah, we can get it done this weekend. Great. I'm so excited. This weekend, you are going to get to see this place in full operation mode. Mm -hmm. And I could not have done it without you. You are a literal godsend. I'm just here to help keep going. Maybe. I've been thinking, this morning, last night, quite a bit. About? I believe there's even a greater reason for you being here. And what would that be? Jesse, I believe it's possible that you're supposed to take over this place once I'm gone. No. No, this, this isn't me. No. No. No way. This is not me. This is your thing. And besides, if, if I'm here, what are you going to be doing? Where, where's he sending you? I mean, he hasn't told me that. Mateo, I'm not going to be some glorified chambermaid. I've got other things I've got to do with my life. I get it. But it's not that bad. If, I'll use that big two-letter word, if I am right, buddy, I'm going to miss this place. You'll fall in love with it. You may be healing fast, but your mind is still completely messed up. There's a reason God healed me so quickly. Think about it. Get your toolbox. So we got to get 147 done. Yes, sir. How are the plans coming along? Have you managed to find some extra men? Yes, sir. That place, 
is going to go up like a tinderbox. <laughs> Precisely what I needed to hear this morning. Good work. What about you? You get what you needed? Yes. I got everything I need to make sure all goes according to plan. I'll check back in a little bit later. I may have some errands for you to run. Will do, boss. Was that do-gooder Peters? <laughs> I'll take care of him personally. <laughs> I think you're too worried. Mateo, I know nothing about running a motel. And you think I did? When I was assigned here, we had just gotten back from our work in Nazi Germany. That's how long it's been. I didn't know anything about running a motel. Everything I learned, I learned from scratch. So you can, too. You never did answer me when I asked you the other night about what your next assignment is, if, in fact, I'm supposed to be here. Well, I didn't answer you because I'm not sure. In that dream I had last night, I saw you in this place, working, greeting people at the guest, that sort of thing. As for me, I wasn't in the dream, so I don't know. But you have better discernment of God's will than anybody I know. Thank you. That is true, but he's not revealing it. I mean, maybe... Yeah, go on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Room 147. Are you ready? Mm. Untouched since the day I arrived. Oh. And you mean untouched since the dawn of man. Maybe. Well, this place is disgusting. <laughs> Please tell me you've never put anybody in here. <laughs> never. Is that real wood paneling? Yeah, I think so. And this carpet. I'm going to say it. It's the ugliest room I have ever seen. And that, my friend, is exactly why we're going to take care of it today. Once you put your finishing touches on it, this is going to be the best room in the entire joint. You don't suppose this is what hell looks like, do you? It's what it smells like, I'm sure. Sure is a beautiful day. Indeed. So, Teo, how many places like this exist? I don't know the exact number anymore, but there are quite a few. Not just in this country, but all over the world. Hmm. The Lord is doing some truly wonderful things out there. But... It's just that there used to be a whole lot more. At one point, we had motels like this in Russia and China. But the religious persecution eventually won out and shot them down. But in America, I see people who are truly living lives of faith, hope, and love. This country's strong. But atheism, secularism, and other world religions are starting to take hold in a lot of minds and hearts here. So my fear is that I 
How's that sandwich? That's a good sandwich. I'm good. Indeed. And here. Come, child. Take a look at this. What are these places? These are places that once were, but are no more. The Bellevue House. That place was in operation since before the Civil War. But I got it condemned a few years back. <laughs> yes, one way or another, I got all these places closed and torn down. <laughs> and such is the fate of the Dream Motel. Well, I cannot believe you've gone all this time and not known how to hold a hammer. I told you I was more of a hindrance than a help. Let me show you how to clean some masonry. Come here. Hey. Something's wrong. I sense it too. Outside. Do this. Well, well, well. If it isn't Howard Johnson and Conrad Hill. Leave now. This won't end well for you. I think you have that wrong. You leave now. Or this will not end well for either one of you. I'll call the sheriff. No need. He's already here. I, I can't stop him, Mateo. He owns this town. He owns me. I have a choice here. You always have a choice, Sheriff. Sure. You had a chance to take your money and run. Now I'll give you just five minutes to go in and pack and get out, and then I'm going to burn this place to the ground. Sheriff, are your hands so tied that you can't do anything? You two don't get it. I own this town. I own him. I own everyone and everything around here. In fact, when this place is out of the way, I'll own this piece of ground too. So that's what this is about. Owning everything? It's never been about this building. But what goes on inside its wall? I don't care about the property. I just want to stop what God... <laughs> what he is doing in here. Face the facts. You can't stand against me and my men. I win. You lose. On second thought, burn this place to the ground now. Stop. 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 I I'm ordering you to stop what you're doing right now. <laughs> sure. Uh, all you had to do is stay there and be quiet. Let us do what we came to do. That's all. I'm not going to stand by any longer. And you had to go and put your big fat nose into my business. You okay, Chef? I'll, I'll be okay. Just do whatever he says, Mateo. He's, he's way too strong. My boss is stronger. This place is not for sale, and it won't be destroyed tonight. Because God is not finished with the Dream Motel.
What what just happened here? The power of God just happened. The Lord doesn't usually let men witness that. He let you see it for a reason. What happened to those men? They're all right. They'll wake up in the morning and they won't remember a thing. You were right about him. He's stronger than the others. You need to be careful, Sheriff. Sheriff, you're a good man who did a good deed this evening. Don't forget that. Let's hose down this gasoline. I got it. Go in there and rest. I'll never stop if this place is no more. <laughs> Until you are no more. <laughs> His will, not mine. Let's finish this. What's going on? <laughs> Mateo! This isn't over. He was stronger than we thought. Look, I can't do this on my own. For the last time, you will. Trust me, not every day is gonna be this busy. <laughs> Future guests. Hey, buddy. Watch for Charlie. Did Jennifer? Okay. And Bobby and Tony. You are gonna show them faith, hope, and love. The Dream Motel. It hasn't always been easy. And if I'm honest, 
I never wanted to be here. Well, not at first. For over 50 years, I have run this place and seen all the needs of my guest. But over the years, I have truly come to love this place and consider it my home.